What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I just got done pulling a bunch of customer parts out of the vehicles that I currently have in part out condition, but we're about to get started on the 6.0 CUCV. Before I do, I want to say thank you so much to everybody that's watching and everybody that has subscribed and is commenting, liking the videos. If you haven't already, please make sure you do that so you don't miss any updates and it helps me out as well. Thanks so much, let's get right into today's task. Okay, so, yesterday I went through, I did my fit up and got my covers put on the top of the engine. I'm happy with how they're fitting. I'm still waiting on a couple parts to finish my turbo intercooler plumbing and my uh, wastegate to downpipe plumbing. But in the meantime, I have a misfire in this thing. I actually have three misfires. Cylinder three, cylinder six, and cylinder seven are not firing at all. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. I've done some initial diagnosis. I'm gonna pull the covers off, and show you what I've done so far, what I think the problem may be, and what we're gonna do to try to fix it. We've got our covers off. Now, here's where I'm at on this thing. The truck that this engine came out of was a snow plow truck from up in Pennsylvania, so there's a lot of rust. Now, I've already done all of the, the, the quick diagnosis to isolate these misfires that I can. On cylinder number three, for example, I started out, I verified this was the misfire by unplugging the injectors or the, the coil pack, and it didn't make any difference in how the engine was running. So I knew right away that this is misfiring. I plugged that back in, I unplugged the coil pack on cylinder number one, and it made a drastic difference in how the engine was running. So I could tell that cylinder one was firing, cylinder three was not. So I started exchanging parts. The first thing I did was swap the ignition coils. I put number one on, on cylinder three, number three on cylinder one, didn't change anything. I still had a miss on cylinder three. I still had good fire on cylinder one. So then I swapped the plug wires. Same thing, three to one, one to three. Again, same thing. Didn't make any difference. Three was missing, one was firing. So then I swapped the spark plugs. Three to one, one to three. Again, no difference. Cylinder one was firing, cylinder three was not. So. I am highly, highly, highly skeptical that spark is the problem. I'm 99% sure I'm getting spark in cylinder three when I'm supposed to be getting it. So the next thing I did was check to make sure that I had power coming to all of my injectors. In case you're not familiar with how this works, the injectors are given power, constant battery, 12 volts when the key is turned to on. The PCM controls the injectors by completing the ground side of the circuit. So when it's time for cylinder number three to have fuel injected, the computer closes the circuit by, by giving a ground to injector number three. It squirts and then closes really quickly in like 0.8 milliseconds. It's super fast when you're idling. The only way I really have to test this was I used my multimeter to verify that I had 12 volt power coming to the injectors when the key is turned on, and I do. So I don't have anything that reads fast enough to see the, the PCM supplying that ground signal to complete the circuit and open the injector. So I don't have a good way to test that other than I had a set of injectors from another engine. I swapped the injector, an injector in there. That also did not make a difference in the running condition. Uh, cylinder three was still misfiring. So then I got a little bit worried. I thought, crap, maybe I screwed something up when I lapped the valves in the head. So I pulled the spark plug out and did a compression test on all eight cylinders just to make sure that they're within about 5% like they should be. And every single cylinder Two through, two through eight on the even side, one through seven on the odd side, 
Uh, the highest compression I had was 130 PSI cranking, and the lowest compression I had was 118 PSI cranking. So I don't think I have a compression issue. All of my cylinders have good compression when cranking. That's not my issue. The only other thing that I can think of that could be the issue is if I have clogged injectors. And the reason I'm thinking this may be an issue is when I exchanged those injectors out on cylinder three, I noticed some rust here in the, in the top part of the injector where fuel comes into it. And I was able to squirt it out with brake clean, but that made me look a little closer. And you can see how rusty my steel fuel lines are here, how rusty the fuel pressure regulator is here. It's rusty on the other side as well. So I'm a little concerned that the inside of those fuel lines is also rusty. Especially because the truck this came off of had steel fuel lines run back to the fuel tank. Uh, now it's all got AN fuel lines and brand new all the way up to these fuel rails on the engine. So I think whatever rust is in there is there from before. But that also may be what's clogging up that those injectors. And I, why it's only cylinder three, uh, six, and seven, I don't know. But it's got me thinking that I didn't undo or I didn't shouldn't have damaged any of the control wires, the ground wires to the PCM and all my wiring stuff. And I'm even more unlikely to think I did because most of the cylinders are firing well. So what I'm gonna do is, I have another whole nother intake manifold complete with injectors, fuel rails, the whole deal off of another truck from the same era. I think it was actually a 2002 also. The fuel rails on that one are in much better shape. The steel lines connecting the rails are not rusty. So I think what I'm going to do is pull those parts off. I have the intake manifold sitting over here on my shelf. I'm going to pull those parts off, go through, get them as clean as I can and then clean all eight injectors from that one because that engine also ran fine. And then I'm gonna get those parts swapped onto this engine and see if that fixes my misfire problem. I want to get these fuel injectors clean. I've made myself a little makeshift fuel injector cleaner here. In my bucket I've got a 50-50 mix of acetone and gasoline, fresh gasoline. I've got a fuel pump out of one of the trucks I parted out. And then the fuel pump is connected to a rubber hose. The rubber hose I'm able to hose clamp onto the end of the fuel injector. So the way this works is I have one switch to apply power to the pump, and then I have another switch here to give the fuel injector ground. And I'm just switching it on and off, the spray, trying to make sure it's got a nice, good spray pattern, looks nice, flowing well, everything else. Do it about 25, 30 times. Feel like that one's going good. Turn it off, turn it off. Turn the pump off. Hit the injector just to bleed the pressure out of the hose. Shut that off and then take that one off and put the next injector on. So, now I'm going to go through and get all these injectors cleaned up. Oh, wow. So this injector doesn't spray well at all. I mean, terrible. It sprays terrible. It's just a tiny little stream. It's not spraying. 
So this one apparently either just does not flow well or is clogged up on the inside. So I'm going to set this one aside uh, until it's time for me to go through. Oh well, it's getting a little bit better. Goes to show though, you know I assumed that these injectors would be okay. Well actually, not these ones, but the ones in the truck, but man, as poorly as this one flowed, I probably, I would guess maybe, probably, I have some injectors that are doing that same thing in the engine right now, and that's why I have that misfire on those couple cylinders. with my injectors so now I got to get them get these fuel rails and these injectors put on the engine see if that takes care of my misfire issue so let's do that So, we got our fuel rails, injectors, the non-rusty ones all installed. Everything put back where it goes. So, we'll, uh, we'll start this thing up and hopefully we don't have any misfires.
but it smelled, it smelled super, super rich. But it was reading lean because those three cylinders were just pumping air into the exhaust. They weren't getting any fuel into them. Now that it's fueling on all eight cylinders, look how rich we are. Super rich. That was it guys. We had three injectors that just weren't injecting. Uh, I'll find out. I'll probably go through and clean all those too once I get some more acetone. But my guess is they were either stuck or clogged up or, or something. I mean, the truck this engine came out of, which is the injectors that were in it, it had been sitting for two or three years. So there's a good chance they were clogged up with varnish or who knows what, rust. Uh, could have been anything, but these ones, they came out of a truck that had been sitting only for like three or four months, and I went through and cleaned them all up. So now that it's actually getting fuel to all eight cylinders, it's firing on all eight cylinders. So that's awesome. Now I'm actually going to be able to get these other pieces buttoned up and get this baby tuned, which is going to be awesome. All right, everybody. I'm gonna wrap it up for today, wrap it up for this video. So, we've got the engine running on all eight cylinders now, which believe it or not, makes a huge difference in how well it runs. I was actually able to start getting it tuned, at least the idle. Uh, it was idling pig rich once I got all eight injectors firing the way they were supposed to be. And I mean like 11 to one, rich uh i think honestly it was almost flooding it and that's why it didn't want to idle so i was able to work with hp tuners a bit i've got it idling pretty well now at uh idling about 750 800 rpm and at a good afr about 14 and a half 14.7 to 1 so i'm happy with that lots of progress super excited Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, probably in a future video here, I'll start getting into the tuning process. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have anything to say, you like the project, you hate the project, you wanna see X thing, you need me to tell you how I did this or that, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Until the next video, take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon.